I cannot believe the Senate had no idea that there was a plan to lease the airport. I can't believe even Parliament had no idea. How do you wake up and sign something like this offhand? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You know that Kenya is supposed to be having um, carbon presentation on our forest and we are supposed to actually leverage that yeah. internationally and get funds out of it. Uh -huh. Have you had anybody talk about it? No. I mean, everything in our country, the, 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 the point, and I'm not pontificating. Yeah. I am not saying that now I'm the cleanest human being. In the world. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this system is so broken that unless we begin to tell ourselves, let us stop this nonsense, we don't have a country. In Kenya today, our hardware is okay. Our roads are passable, we can get one or two, you can take a flight which is stinking and can you, KQ is already dead. I told you, they can't even buy spare parts. They, they, they owe 20 billion shillings every year. It's given 10, 15 billion, then the money is finished. I mean, all that stuff is there. And yet the truth is, and what I've realized by being in the Senate, and uh, many people may not know that I've been in member parliament uh, for more than 20 years, yes. is that the software is cooked. You don't have a single government financial platform on how the government pays, pays its bills, either to contractors, its uh, personnel, its anything. Everything is staccato. Everything has been cut, 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 cut so that people easily are able to siphon off the cash. Okay. All right? And that system is so, so messed up. That is why I was telling you, Maina, 70 billion Kibaki took primary school kids to school for free from class one to class eight yeah. at 29 billion. Free education. Then Kibaki put, I think it was about 12 and no, six or to seven billion shillings he put into help yeah. for people who, could, who are going to university yeah. could actually borrow money at half and whatever, which at that time I disagreed with because to me, so many of our people have not really left the poverty line. So why are you taking a student who's going to train as a medical doctor, who lives in a quarter piece of land in Kibra, and the parents are not able to raise money even for him to get clothes to wear? And you are telling me that you are taking this child who's an A student who's going to study medicine and you want him to pay 1.5 million shillings a year? Are you serious? And then the amount of money you put in the Ministry of Education, check, let Kenyans Google. 636 billion shillings for free education. Take 270 billion for your paying of teachers, paying of ECD teachers, and all the consequentials. You are still left with 300 billion. Maina, do you know that all the books that are supplied to the schools are printed by individuals who are in the Ministry of Education? Why would a minister walk into an area and the first thing he does is give a school 200 million shillings? when another school, which could be about 10 kilometers from that place, would not even receive a million. It's because that 100 million is what is given to that school, but you can bet 70 million of it has to come back to the ministry. And that is not uniquely for Ministry of Education. That is what happens in health. That is what happens in every damn place is leaking. And we are just sitting around and looking and saying, hmm, eh, squeeze me, my you.